What is up guys, it is your boy Nistro here, and uh, today we got ourselves the next episode of Maximum Crisis Dissected, where we are doing Zephras. Um, the three new Zephra cards that are coming in Maximum Crisis are actually pretty amazing, and might just be the saving grace for a deck, and more than, <laughs> it'll probably more than likely make this deck playable, because I remember trying out Zephras for the first time years ago. And uh, it's kind of one of those decks that you had to like play around with the ratios and kind of see like what worked, what didn't. Like it didn't have like a solid build. Um, there was the Yang Zing build, but um, that unfortunately fell through the cracks. There were obviously Yang Zings were actually better themselves, so there was little point to the Zephyr build. Um, Zephyrs were something that you know, like it, it, it was kind of like a synchro. Um, like one of those synchron decks like it, it kind of took like a lot of skill and precision to play correctly and um, Now with this new support uh, We we may see it have uh, a lot more strength than you know before starting with uh, Zephyrath Grammaton now I kid you not I, I was on Yu-Gi-Oh! Wikia and the only other car the only card that um, I saw that can match this uh, this guy's name is called Zephrath. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna spell it out for you. It's called Zephrath. Um, it's the cheesiest name in all of Zephyr history. I mean, all of Yu Gi Oh history, honestly. <laughs> it's it's a, I think it sounds pretty stupid. They should have just kept it um, as it is. I guess they, they just didn't want to print too many words at once. I mean, I mean, the amount of wording on this card is crazy. <laughs> I, mean, I can't believe they put all these effects onto a singular card. Um, but anyway, let's get into it. So the pendulum effect is during your main phase, you can add a Zephyr pendulum monster from your deck from your deck to your extra deck face up. And if you do, this card's pendulum scale becomes the same as that pendulum monster's uh, until the end of the turn. And you can only activate that effect once per turn. I mean, if you could do that more than once per turn, that would be amazing. That would just be plain broken. <laughs> Uh, so he puts a Zephyr from your deck into your extra deck, and he pretty much sets up a Pendulum Summon. And that, that by itself is just freaking godlike enough. I mean, any Zephyr from your deck, any Zephyr that you need, just put it in your extra deck. And if you don't know, the way Zephyrs work is that they only work, like, uh, they work when they're summoned, and, uh, usually their effects are based off whether they're either normal summoned or pendulum summoned. So the fact that uh, he sets up a pendulum summon for Zephyrus is pretty damn amazing. And his monster effect is he can't be normal summoned or set and he has to be special summoned uh, face up from your extra deck by tributing all monsters you control and you have to control at least three Zephyr monsters. And he can't be special in better ways, there's no must first be, there's no any of that. The good thing is that he summons himself from the extra deck and not, um, so if he gets destroyed on the field, he can come back. But the problem is, uh, once he goes into your hand, um, I don't know how really, I don't know how that interaction's gonna work, but, um, I, I guess you can, uh, search one and then put one on, uh, and then use his effect to put another one in your extra deck, um, I guess, or... When you search, you're probably going to put him on your pension scale when, when you search him or put him in your hand. So uh, don't worry about summoning him too much. And then when he gets destroyed on the field, that's when you can uh, summon him back from the extra deck. And uh, after this card is special summoned to your field, you can pendulum summon Zephyr monsters and no other cards at the same time during your main phase this turn in addition to your normal pendulum summon. And you're going to gain that effect once per turn. So this guy lets you pendulum summon twice <laughs> dp you go uh he he lets you pendulum summon twice per turn uh when he's special summoned and that that in itself just makes the deck crazier because the deck is based around going into exes and synchros and all this and that and the fact that he can uh give you two bursts of like monsters is, i mean it's gonna be pretty 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 amazing um especially um with the amount of searching and uh 
the like the amount of shenanigans that this deck has, and then the fact they all activate when they're pendulum summoned too, it's uh it's pretty damn amazing. And the last effect uh, on this card is once per turn you can tribute one monster, any monster. It's it doesn't have to be a Zephyr monster, and special summon a Zephyr monster from your deck. I think this guy this guy single handedly saves Zephyr. Zephyr doesn't need any more support. Other than this card, because they already have a card that can search this. They already have um, all the monsters. They already have uh, the divine strike. Like Zephyrus don't need anything else other than this card. This is this is this is what Konami should do for archetypes more often. They should make cards that single-handedly save the archetype. So next off, we have Zephyr Providence, and all it is is just a searcher. You add one Zephyr card from your deck to your hand, except Zephyr Providence. And in the graveyard, if a Zephyr card you control would be destroyed, except during a card, except during a turn, this card was sent to the graveyard. Banish this card instead. So it's a searcher that acts like a revival in grave. So it, it, it's pretty much a kind of like a contingency, just a backup, you know, just in case things happen. They try to twin twist to you, um, their turn, you know, you just banish it. Um. This does make a Zephyr Path kind of worth playing because it searches any Zephyr card. Uh, before, Zephyr Path was something that was kind of um, controversial. Because it's like, but you have to have a scale, and then it's like, if you don't, it's going to get sent to the graveyard. And, um, it definitely does help. Um, but Zephyr Path, well, while Zephyr pa uh, Path is up, they can't target your, uh, your, your Pendulum Scale. So if they try to pop Zephyr Path, then you can just banish your providence from the graveyard and path is safe. Um, and yeah, I mean, we already had an oracle of Zephyr, the field spell, which searches when it's activated. And we have the horse Yang Zing, the one that when it's destroyed, um, you also get to search a Yang Zing spell or trap card. So there's a lot of searching going on in this deck. And as I said before, this is like one of those uh, combo type Synchron decks. Well, not Synchron specifically, but it's, it's like one of those combo decks that really require like a lot of pieces. Like you need certain pieces at certain times. So it's nice that they're really uh, giving you more ways to, uh, to, to access those pieces. So um, it's definitely a staple three of. I mean, both of these cards are like three ofs um, so far. So I'm, I'm definitely liking the way this support is looking. And the last card we have is a trap card, Star Crusade of the Zephyr. I don't know if this will be the English name. Hopefully it sounds cool. So, target one Zephyr card you control and one card your opponent controls, destroy them. Um, it's a trap card, I mean, I guess it's okay. But it does have another effect where it says, if, two, if you have two Zephyr cards in your Pendulum Zones, you can activate this card from your hand, and you go and activate one of these bad boys per turn. So, any Zephyr card you want, uh, whether it be a scale, a monster, a field spell, any Zephyr card you want and a card your opponent controls, you scrap dragon. Uh, it's nice because you can activate it during your from your hand and during your opponent's turn from your hand. Um, so you don't have to worry about this getting twin twistered. And then you have Providence in your graveyard. Uh, in case uh, you don't want your card to actually get destroyed. There may be times you want your card to get destroyed. Um, and the fact that it works like a spell card when you have your, or a quick play spell card, when you have two um, Zephyr cards in your pendulum scales, it actually works pretty well with the deck. Um, because, you know, like, if it were just target, uh, if it just if just if if it just had the first effect where it was just targeting and destroying, it would just be, eh, okay. But you know the fact that you can activate it from your hand when you have two Zephyrs is, is what makes this card good, or at least decent, at best. Um, so maybe one to two. I, I don't think I'll play three. Um, it's searchable, so there's no reason to play three of it. Um, and. It doesn't really do that much by itself. You do kind of need another card to use it. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, I, I guess that's all for today. Um, well, not for today, but for right now. Anyway, uh, so this was Nistro here. I, I do, uh, I am loving the Zephyr support. Um, I think this does change a lot. And um, it definitely is uh, interesting to see how Konami... 
uh, really just gave this deck like a real like burst of, <laughs> of good support. Like this is this is what they should do for decks like a lot more often. Like just give us a burst of good support instead of just like one or two cards every here and then, or like give us like more for like more decks. You know, like th I don't think Zephyrus will be meta per se. They they just might end up being meta, but with Link format coming up. Uh, Zephraf, uh, the isn't really going to be, um, I mean, it's still going to be playable. It's just not going to be as strong because of the whole, uh, extra deck thing, um, with the whole extra monster zone and the fact you have to pen them summon monsters from your extra deck there. Uh, and also with, um, the fact that you have to, uh, it's, it's going to be a lot more focus around having pendulum monsters in your hand. And although this deck does have a lot of searchers, um, near the mid and late game, your, your extra deck is going to start stacking up. And although Zephyrus do benefit from uh, having a large extra deck with uh, cards like Chosen of Zephyr, which nobody uses, but it's still a nice card to have. And um, uh, Zephyr Divine Strike, that, that's definitely something that uh, you want to keep uh, you want to keep monsters in your extra deck for. Going into Link format, that uh, this may um, not be like as great of a card. But, you know, because of cards like Zephyr Divine Strike and that, uh, it might not lose, like, the deck not might not lose all of its power, but it might just lose its, uh, a bit of its, um, its speed. Because of its lack of being able to pinch them from an action deck, you know. Anyway, uh, that's all for now. I, I think I'm done rambling on. I usually ramble on in these type of videos. No, it's, it's, it's nothing new. Um... So, uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode of Maximum Crisis Dissected, if I do not upload anything between here and, and the next episode. Anyway, it was your boy Nisho here. Peace.